This is not your ordinary guitar. It's modular, 3D printed, and ready for you to customize. In this video, I'll walk you step by step through the process to build your modular 3D printed guitar core, specifically our dual humbucker option, which is part of our brand new modular guitar series. Choose a single coil or dual humbucker center core and then mix and match from a growing lineup of over 60 modular body options. In just a matter of seconds, you can switch from a Telecaster style guitar to a Les Paul, Warlock, Stratocaster, Mustang, SG, Flying V, or Explorer. Each body style offers an expanding library of unique patterns and lets you showcase your creativity by customizing the colors and materials of each component and surface to build a truly one-of-a-kind showstopper guitar. I'll leave links to the body assembly videos in the description below. Our complete core and body kits come with everything you need to build your guitar. You'll receive an instant download of the 3D printing files, plus a physical kit shipped directly to your door with all the required materials, components, and electronics. This kit includes two dual humbucker pickups with pre-soldered electrical contacts, a bridge, bridge ground wire, a maple neck, neck plate, latch, set of Ernie Ball regular slinky strings, and all the necessary hardware. Alternatively, if you want to source your own components, or if you have a donor guitar lying around, every design is also available as a files only option. We've streamlined the 3D printing process by including 3MF files with preloaded recommended print settings so you can simply slice the models and hit print. Or if you prefer to fine tune your setup, we've also included STL files giving you full control to customize the print settings to meet your needs. And just a quick note, in addition to this video, you'll find a digital assembly guide and a frequently asked questions page on our website, the3dprintzone.com. I'll link both in the description below. Now let's dive into the build starting with the 3D printed parts. The guitar's core is designed to fit on a print bed that's at least 256 by 256 millimeters, making it compatible with a growing number of desktop 3D printers. The core is a crucial structural element. It bears the load of the string tension, so strength is key here. For that reason, we don't recommend splitting the core into smaller printed sections. Doing so would introduce additional glue joints, which could become weak points under the string tension. Material choice for the core really matters. While you can use standard PLA, I recommend a higher strength filament to minimize any flex under tension. For this build, I went with PLA carbon fiber. It offers improved strength and stiffness, plus the matte finish does a great job of hiding layer lines. You can also explore materials like ABS, polycarbonate, or other fiber reinforced filaments. Just keep in mind those options can be trickier to print, especially with larger parts like the center core where warping can become more of a consideration. To handle the string tension, the core is designed to print with 15% infill, 5 perimeters, and a 0.2 millimeter layer height by default. I recommend using tree supports as they're easier to remove and leave cleaner results. In addition to the main core, you'll also get files to 3D print the pickup mount, latch cover, and contact adapter. In total, you'll need about 350 grams of filament, and you're looking at a print time of roughly 10 to 12 hours, depending on your specific printer and settings. Once all the parts are printed, it's time for assembly. All you'll need is a standard Phillips screwdriver, or if you want to make your life even easier, one of these sweet handheld power screwdrivers. We'll start by assembling the two dual humbucker pickup sub-assemblies using the two springs and screws. These screws aren't just for mounting, they'll also let you adjust the pickup height later in the build. Grounding the bridge is essential for reducing unwanted electrical noise, so to do this simply route the bare end of the ground wire through the hole and bend it downwards. When the bridge is fastened to the core, it will clamp down on the wire creating a solid ground connection. Next, we're ready to mount the bridge to the core 
using three of the shorter 3 8 number 4 screws and two of the longer 1 inch number 4 screws to fasten it in place, making sure the bridge is clamping down on the exposed ground wire from the previous step. Now, route the neck pickup assembly wires through the center hole on the core, followed by the bridge pickup wires. Then the pickups can be fastened to the core using a total of eight 3 8 number 4 screws. To assemble the latch and contact subassembly, mount the top and bottom cover to the latch handle and secure them with one 3 8 inch number 4 screw. Now the latch can be fixed to the contacts adapter in the orientation shown using two 7 16 number 8 screws. Note that you may need to move the latch out of the way for access to tighten the screw. Now it's time to mount the wire contacts onto the adapter subassembly following the color-coded wire diagram shown. Looking from the bottom view, the order from left to right is neck signal and ground, then bridge signal and ground, and finally the bridge ground. The contacts simply slide into place and clip onto the adapter with no soldering required. Be careful not to pinch any of the wires as you fasten the wired contacts adapter to the core using four three-quarter inch number six screws. Now we can mount the neck to the core using the neck plate and the inch and a half long neck screws. Just like any guitar, you'll want to perform a proper setup to adjust the string action and intonation. If you've never done this before, there are plenty of online tutorials that can walk you through the process step by step. And just like that, your modular core is fully assembled and ready for action. All you'll need to do is slide on a body, lock the latch, and you're ready to rock. If you have any questions about our guitars, be sure to check out the FAQ page on our website or leave a comment below. You can also reach out to us directly using the contact form on our website. We're here to build more than just guitars. We're creating a community of musicians, makers, and innovators who are excited about the possibilities of 3D printed instruments. Whether you're a professional guitarist or a DIY enthusiast, our guitars offer a fresh approach to playing, performing, and customizing your sound. For more information, visit the3dprintzone.com and check out the links in the description below. We've got several new designs already in the works, so if you have an idea or suggestions for future releases, feel free to drop a comment below and vote for your favorite suggestion by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for updates, follow us on our socials, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Let's reshape the future of guitar design together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.